Katie Armiger has come a long way since releasing her debut album at the age of just 15. Now Country Weekly has named Katie as the hottest bachelorette in country music and her new video I Do But Do I certainly lives up to expectations. We caught up with Katie on the set for that new video to hear how that song and video concept came about. I feel like everybody has kind of had, um, you know, that relationship or even not even, you know, a relationship, just kind of a flirtation, we should say, about liking a guy but then going, eh, maybe I like this one better. It's kind of like when you're a little girl and, you know, you take the flower and you pull off, you know, each petal and you're like, I love him, I love him not. It's like that. I have like five inches of padding on right now and my band leader just walked in and he's like, I'm sorry, but I can't even stare at your face right now. He's like, I've seen you for years and that's not. It's definitely going to be um, something different than you've seen from me before. It's going to be really fun, but also um, it's just, it's a very good combination. It's going to be black and white, and I've never done a black and white video. I actually haven't really seen that many. We're referencing um, Jay-Z for this video. Oh yeah, and uh, Steven Shepard's going to be the director, so it's just going to be fun. You know, I have my band in this video, and you know, we were just trying to figure out different things to make this interesting, and because a lot of times I always do concept videos, there's always like this huge storyline, and we're like, let's just do like a fun performance video, have the band, you know, you know, ha definitely have like a male love interest, um, but just kind of keep it more fun, open. This is moving way too fast to last too long. Still, it feels so right, I can't tell right from wrong. You know, the first video you get there and you're like, oh my god, there are 30 people, there are cameras, you know, I'm putting a push up bra on, what's happening? And, uh, you know, now you, you know what's gonna happen. So, this is our last setup. I call this the Tom Cruise look. It's the white mint shirt, but I know my parents and my little siblings will see this video, so I put on the white shorts for it because I know that one of my grandparents is going to call me and be like, you are not just wearing your underwear. You are not out there all together. So I put on the shirt for you guys. I hope you know I love you. <laughs> I think I do. Every artist, um, you know, changes. It's one of those things that it's just an evolutionary process and it's also a, a growth, you know, whether or not you're young or, you know, you're middle aged and starting or, you know, any age. Um, you know, you just learn yourself and at every, you know, single different time in your life, you're at a different point. And, um, and I would say I've, I've definitely grown. I've, um, you know, I, I know more of what I want is probably the best way to describe it. Look for that re-release of Confessions of a Nice Girl to hit stores soon. We still have lots more ahead right here on Inside Music Row. We'll visit with a military widow who is keeping the memories of her Marine husband alive through music. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Autumn Latendry and I'm coming up next on Inside Music Row.